Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 37th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can return multiple values from functions. So in the last tutorial, we returned one value from a function and uh, we use the return statement for it. And uh, if you guys are wondering, okay, what is the need for this tutorial? You know, we can just use the return statement as many times as we want to return values uh, from a function. Well, that's not going to work. And the reason for that is that the return statement works pretty much like the break statement. So if you guys remember when we used break within loops, we discovered that when we use a break statement, we just get out of the loop and we don't continue with the iterations of the loop, even if there are some iterations left. And uh, you know, that's how the return statement works. So if you've used it once in your function, then you can be sure that the rest of the code that you have in your function is not going to execute because you're immediately going to jump out of the function definition and you're going to proceed with the rest of the code, right? So we can't use return statement multiple times, but instead what we can do is, let's say you want to return three values, then you can create an array of three uh, values and you can return the array, right? So instead of passing in, uh, you know, instead of like returning one variable, you could return an array variable that contains multiple values. And that's what we, we're going to do in this uh, script. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor. It's called return underscore multiple dot PHP. On line number six in the file, I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 16, I have the closing PHP tag. And uh, then on line number seven, I have uh, defined a function called division. And uh, this function is going to take in two arguments, as you can see. And uh, the first one is going to be a number. And the second one is going to be a number with which we are going to divide the first number. So that's why the name of the function is division. And uh, when you perform division operation, you, um, you know, you basically get two values. And uh, the first one is the quotient. And uh, you obtain the quotient by using the division operator in uh, PHP. So that's nothing but the forward slash. And uh, since I want to see, uh, you know, a neat value with like just one uh, digit after the decimal point, I've used a round function. So we're going to first perform the division, then round it off to one decimal point, And then we're going to assign that value to the variable quotient, right? And uh, then on line number 10, I have uh, used a module operator here. So to get the remainder, we are going to, uh, you know, first find out the remainder value using the module operator and then assign the value to the variable remainder. And if the number is perfectly divisible, that is if the value that's passed to dividend is perfectly divisible by the value that's passed to divisor, then zero will be assigned else, you know, whatever value has to be assigned will be assigned. And uh, then I have used the return statement on uh, line number 11 and I have created an array with these two values. So I've used the array function here and uh, the first element in the array is the variable quotient and the second element in the array is the variable remainder. So this is what is going to be uh, returned to the uh, calling variable. So on line number 13, I have an array variable since we're getting an array value out of the function, we have to assign it to an array variable. So, you know, this one's called my underscore ARR and uh, I have passed in 63 and five as the argument. So we're gonna divide 63 by five and uh, we're gonna round that off to one decimal point. So that I think is going to be 12.6. Uh, uh, quotient is going to be 12.6. And uh, the remainder is obviously going to be three because five times 12 is 60 and three is the remainder left. And uh, then on line number 14, I have uh, an echo statement in which I have used the index position zero to see the value of uh, the quotient. And uh, on line number 15, I have uh, you know used the index position one to see the value of the remainder, right? So I'll save the file and I'll open my browser and uh, in here I'll look for the file return underscore multiple dot PHP and there we go. We see quotient is 12.6 and remainder is three, right? So that's how you return multiple values from functions and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something uh, interesting for sure and uh, that's it for now, take care.